start off with a general statement. Um, you know, it was a, a very hard fought match in a great environment, and both teams had different spurts where they were playing really well, and it, the momentum changed throughout the match. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very disappointing to not pull out in a match like that you're so close with and kind of going back and forth. And so, you know, we feel that right now, and we wish, you know, there were some things that we could have done a little bit better, and that's the difference in a close match like that. Why was it so hard for either team, you think, to really, it just did even, I mean, it seemed like coming in, both teams were pretty evenly matched on paper, and it really kind of played out that way. You know, I think we're very different teams. Um, they have a lot more size and blocking that we knew that they have, and um, we're a little more finesse team, and I think with some different styles, one team can kind of get a role in what they do, and and do well for a while, and then the other team kind of does their thing well, and I think that that kind of changed the momentum through the match quite a bit. We talk about the fight of your team. It seems like it was there all night, even though the home crowd was really getting into it. You know, I'm so proud of the effort that they put out and how hard they work every day in practice, because that's where it, that's where it all comes from. And um, they're fighters, and they get after it, and they play with a lot of heart for each other, and um, that's something that's that's just you know special and. You know, it has obviously led to a lot of our success. Ariel, can you talk about what happened in that third set and what you guys, how you guys regrouped and came out and won that fourth set? Um, I think uh, personally, I actually started yelling at the team and I just <laughs> wanted to inspire the team. Just that, you know, it's our last game. We need to go out no matter what, strong. And after that game, we need to just erase it restart and go from there. I feel that we all made that decision and we executed what we were supposed to do. And Coach, what do you what did you sort of see from that third set? It looked like Indiana really got out to a lead quickly. You know, I think I think more of the third happened in the second. I think we were really in control in the second and late. We we struggled with our offense a little, made some errors, gave them some free points. And when we started the third, I, we had passed really well to that point, and I think our passers got a little nervous because our hitters hadn't put a few balls away, and I think it kind of just snowballed from there. And, you know, that stuff happens, and hopefully you expect to bounce back after one or two, but, you know, we gave them a bunch there, just kind of put pressure, too much pressure on themselves at that moment. Katie, you did talk about the environment. I mean, if you had been in, at home in this environment, I mean, talk about you, how, how big a lift do you think Indiana got, especially in that fifth, is because of them the being at home. Did, did that make a difference, do you think, at all? No. You know, we talk a lot about focusing on our side and focusing on what we're doing. And um, it's kind of been our motto all year is just be us, play Miami volleyball. It doesn't matter where we are, who we're playing. If we're in a tournament, if we're in ACC, if we're in the NCAA tournament, we've always been focused on our side. And... Um, I mean, this environment's fun. I think um, it's a fun environment to play with, no matter if they're training for the opposite team. We've been used to it in the ACC, playing big schools that have environments like this, so it's something different. Um, I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to play at home, but I don't think the environment makes a difference at all. Anything else? Thank you.